Hello cuties, it's Heather Sparkles and for today's video I'm actually going to be playing with my toy collection again and I'm really really excited because this video is so long overdue. I have really missed my collection, I'm going to be honest. Over the past like month or two I just fell out of toy collecting. I quit caring about it and you know what, I really really miss it, especially since I've been talking to you guys on Snapchat and you've been sending me pictures and videos of your collection and talking about what my collection means to you and it just has made me want to come back in here and hang out with the collection. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to be reconnecting, rediscovering my love for these toys because I really have missed them and I think it's going to be really good for me just to hang out in here. So let's do this! All right, so we're gonna start over in this corner. This is my pride and joy. This is my vintage plushy shelf. Oh my gosh, you guys could see like all of it. This is so cool. Okay, so I'm actually gonna give you guys a close up and then I'm gonna pick different toys off the shelf and I'm gonna hold them and, and all of that. So let's do the close up real fast. All right, so at the top up there, we have all of my vintage puppy and kitty surprise and my kitty kitty kittens from Tyco. And there's Poochie up there. I have not seen these cuties in so long. And then there's my one forever friends. They are all so cute. And look, you guys can see all the way up at the tippy top. Yay! <laughs> Isn't this one so adorable? And then on this shelf, I feel like somebody's missing. Who is missing? I don't know, but we have my two little turtle tots. I definitely love these little guys. Oh no. <laughs> I love those little guys. And then we have my only two magic nursery pets. I love magic nursery pets and I really, really want some more of those. So whenever I start buying for my collection again, which unfortunately I can't do right now, but whenever I do, I want more magic nursery pets. And here's my one and only PJ Sparkles pet. And it's actually looking like it's kind of glowing. Oh my gosh, it's glowing in the shadow that's on my shelf. That is so cool. I really want more PJ Sparkles pets. I really want the pink bunny so badly. So then down here, we have my Cuddle Brights. Cuddle Brights are one of those plushies I never thought I would have. And they're so, so cool. They're insanely cool. They're just so weird looking. And here's my Twinkle Bear. This is like the most expensive one. <laughs> but she was worth every penny. She's so cute. Oh my god, look at her. Yay! And then over here we have my Secret Keepin's Pup. And oh my gosh, I love this plush. Honestly, this is probably my favorite plush. I say that about a lot of them. <laughs> and I don't want them to hear me, but I love this one so much. It's so, so cool. It's really, really cute. And look at him. Oh my god. And then we have my yellow Twinkle Bear. And then here here we have my Cuddle Bright that I named Banana Bread Sparkles and I love this Cuddle Bright. It's super super cute. Hello baby. And then down here we have my Brush Loves. Brush Loves are my favorite plushie to collect. Um, I hope to eventually have all of them. For now I'm just super excited to even have three of them. Uh, there are, are four uh, US releases and I only need one more and then I have to get the the European releases and there's one I want so bad but it's gonna be so expensive so that's why I don't have it <laughs> so anyway so here is my brush of loves they are my babies this one looks a lot like me <laughs> we have the same hair color so cute this was the original one that I fell in love with but this was my first brush of love and I have a little vintage toy hair clippy on it so cute. This is my favorite brush love. Her name is Bubble Love. She's so cute. And then over here we have my other secret keepins. And then down here we have my Popples shelf and my um, fursons back there. It's such a mess though. Oh my god. And then down here we have my, my Doodle Bears and Squishies and a bunch of other random plushes that I need more light to show you guys. And then over here is my Furby shelf. All right, so I am holding my baby. This is Bubble Love. I showed you guys him a few seconds ago, and I love this little guy so, so much. He makes me so, so happy. Look at his little face. I know you guys already saw the close-up. This hair clip keeps falling off. I can't even tell you how good it feels to hold a brush of love. They are so, so soft, and I need to move the camera down a bit. If you guys can like actually see me hugging him. <laughs> they are so soft and so sweet. 
and I highly recommend that if you're thinking about getting into toy collecting, start by trying to find a brush you love because they are going to be your favorite thing in your whole collection forever. I guarantee it. They're going to be the one thing that if you ever had to like sell off your collection, you could never get rid of. That's how I feel about my brush of loves. Like if I had to get rid of everything in my collection, the brush of love stays. So let me see if I can hold all three of them because I think I am long overdue for a brush of loves group hug. Yay! I love them so much. <laughs> It's been quite the month, babies. Hold me tight. <laughs> so I love these little guys. Look at them. Oh my god. Actually, let me let me zoom you out. Let me zoom you out. Okay. Yay! <laughs> they make me so so happy. Oh my god. I love you, babies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I would kiss them, but I have lipstick on, and that would not be fun to try to take off of them. So here is a cuddle bright and they are so big. Whenever I was looking into these, I didn't think they would be that big, but they really, really are. And they are seriously like one of the coolest stuffies. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're just so cool. And just like, you don't see stuff like this anymore. I love the bows on their head. Isn't that cool? And the bow lights up when you press the little button up there but you guys are barely gonna be able to see it because we have so much light in here. But I have done a video about Cuddle Bright before. If you guys wanna check it out, highly recommend it um, because I haven't really seen much about Cuddle Brights on the internet, um, at least not on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my one Cuddle Bright. I named her Strawberry Sparkles. Um, I think her name is Rosie Shine, but I call her Strawberry, so hmm. Okay, so um, we also have we also have banana bread sparkles here. This was like my channel mascot for a little while. I love this little guy. They're like so like soft and fluffy. Like oh, I've been needing this. Just give me a moment. It has been a month. If I had just cuddled my cuddle bright, like I would have been in such a better mood all month, you know? <sighs> okay, so Here's my Twinkle Bear, and gosh, I love these things. I really want the blue one. The blue one's my favorite. The pink one, though, had to have it for obvious reasons. <laughs> so I am not going to hit the little button on its nose because it'll flash, and I don't want anyone to have a seizure out there because I would not be very good with it. Twinkle Bears are so cute. They're very expensive. If you see them thrifting, grab them because they are very expensive and you will regret like leaving them behind. And I know that because so many of you have been like, oh my gosh, I left the Twinkle Bear at the store and now it's gone. And it's my biggest thrift regret. So make sure you grab these. Okay, so this is my daughter. <laughs> She's so cute, guys. Oh my goodness. Hello. So actually, like, this is pretty much my, my fursona. <laughs> so this one was also made in 1990, just like me. Though I guess you would think I was a little bit younger than that because of my behavior, but hey, <laughs> you know, um, don't grow up, it's a trap. So now I'm actually gonna play with my little pretties and I have missed these guys so much. Uh, <laughs> these little guys are the best. So this is the one that I actually wanted for the longest time. I believe her name is Sweetly. Is that her name? I can't remember. But it's this really cute doggy that has, um, lavender and pink hair and then she has a cute little cake on her butt <laughs> and for some reason they chose like red for her face which i wish they had chose like hot pink that would have been so much better than this red i don't i don't know i don't really like red with the pastels but this is definitely my favorite one. And then the other one that means the most to me is Melody because whenever I was a kid and I started collecting ponies, I would always find these kitties with the ponies and I thought they went to them. So I had two of Melody except for mine had the most insane spiral curls. They were so good. <laughs> and this one doesn't have that. So we're gonna have to do a video where we work on her because she is so cute. I love her to pieces just not to actual pieces. I just love all her pieces, you know? Uh, I need to stop. <laughs> so here's another smooshy friend that I really, really like. So this is my Lady Lovely Locks dragon. It was marketed on eBay. Well, is marketed the right word? It was, it was called a pig, which I kind of see why they thought it was a pig, but dude, it's a dragon. It has wings. It's not a pig, it's a dragon. I really want to get the mint one. That one's my favorite. 
but I still need to curl its hair. I've never worked on it. I think it's called a curly dragon from Lady Lovely Locks. I'm pretty sure. All right, so here's a close-up look at that shelf. I have all kinds of little doodads on here. We have Gen 2 baby ponies, which are my favorite kind of Gen 2 ponies. We have little Care Bears. We have a Crystal Princess Pegasus. And we have Miss Piggy from Muppet Babies. And we have this little guy from, I think, the Wuzzles. And up here is my little pretties collection that I've never really done any maintenance on or anything like that. They've just been kind of living up here. Let me turn up the ISO. It's kind of dark. Here we go. Now you guys can hopefully see better. <laughs> so, yep, there they all are. And I have my two Lady Lovely Locks pets back there. And my Barbie kitty. I really like this little guy. It's so cute. Up here is the one thing you guys really love. These are my Moose Mountain Carousels. And uh, they kind of work, kind of not. It's uh, it's hard to tell with these things. You guys remember if you grew up in the 90s, these little fake carousel animals? They were the best. I have a few of these. That shelf is a mess. We don't talk about that shelf. <laughs> oh, so here's my Polly Pocket Collection shelf. And don't worry guys, I'm making a separate video on an update of my Polly Pocket Collection. I just don't feel like taking it off the shelf right now and opening everything. But I think I'm gonna open one thing. All right, so this was my first Polly Pocket, and I think I started out my collection really good because I absolutely love this one. This is like the big fairy compact, and this is from 1993, and it's so, so cute. Is it too washed out now? It's a little, a little too much light. Okay, I think that's, a, that's, that's not quite as good. Okay, that's the only thing I don't like about this camera is I'm still trying to figure out my lighting. Lighting is so important when you buy a good camera, but anyway, so... Ta-da! Isn't it so magical? I love this one so much. You guys have seen this one a million times if you watch my Polly Pocket videos. I really like the little dance floor in there. I really like the little dance floor in there. It's so cute! So this one actually used to light up, but the battery died. So I need to change the batteries. This one is absolutely amazing. I think it's a must-have for every Polly Pocket collector. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm trying not to cry because you don't even know like how good it feels to reconnect with my toys That's why I'm making this video today just to hang out with the toys because I just haven't been I haven't been spending any time with them and and playing with them and maybe I should I think that'd be a really good outlet for me So I'm gonna start hanging out in the toy room more often again Here's another one that I really, really like that I actually need to track down the pieces to because look how cute it is. Wait, let me redo that. I think it's better whenever I go like this. Ta-da! Isn't that like the coolest thing to like open a Polly Pocket and look inside of it? When you look at this, can you understand why so many of us are so against the new Polly Pockets? Like, we absolutely hate them because they're just so ugly in comparison to this. Like, look at these beautiful details. These were incredible. Do, 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 do. All right, so now I'm going to play with my pretty crazy curls puppy. Um, if you can even call this playing with toys, I've just been kind of picking them up and going, oh my God, you guys, look at these toys. Um, but this, <laughs> this is my pretty crazy girls puppy. I always get asked about this little guy. And I'm gonna be honest, whenever I first saw these online, I was always asking people about them too. I was like, oh my God, what are those? Those are so cute. So this little guy is so adorable. It also looks really washed out. I gotta, I gotta adjust the lighting again. There we go, I think that's perfect now. Um, but this little guy was made in 1997 by I think Playmates Toys, Playmate? Play, Playmates Toys in 1998. So it looks like it's made like a lot earlier than that because of the overall aesthetic, but this was later. Um, it's this 
really cute puppy and basically it came with like some curling tools and my bangs are doing a thing I don't like that <laughs> so it came with some curling tools and basically you would curl its hair and that was it <laughs> and you'd like style it I think I had a big roughly collar so I still need to do a video on this let me know in the comment section down below if you want to watch a video where we style its hair and play with it I definitely want to make more videos where like we really like test out these toys uh, like how kids would have done back then so if you had them as a kid you can get that nostalgia factor and I think it'd be a really relaxing kind of video because I know how much you guys love videos like that you tell me how much it helps your anxiety and helps you calm down from a, a long day so yeah love this little guy pretty crazy curls puppy I hope to get the pony eventually so this was gifted to me from a good online friend who I hope I can meet someday because they are so incredibly kind and sweet and amazing and I got to get caught up with them very soon this right here my friends is a keepers swan Look at how pretty she is. <gasps> Twins! Ah! <laughs> so I absolutely love her so much. She's so, so cool. Definitely one of my favorite things in my collection. She's yellowed a little bit from time, which is to be expected. She's from the 80s. I mean, come on. None of us are going to be perfect forever, right? So I absolutely love her. She's really, really cute. So this right here was the first big keeper I ever bought. And the poor thing is broken. <laughs> but other than being broken and um, it's in really good condition, there's some discoloring down there. But you can't really see it. Like the shell display is really nice. So this little guy looks pretty good. So here's one of the toys I've had the longest. This is from my childhood collection. This is my Moon Dreamers Lion. You guys are always asking me about this guy, wondering what it is. So now hopefully you know, these do glow in the dark. See all the blue paint marks? Those all glow in the dark. Very, very cool. I think the crown glows as well. And this was given to me and I am so grateful. This is the polar bear from Moon Dreamers. I also always wanted this thing since I was a kid. So I'm really excited to finally have both of them, yay! So these things are crazy. I recently gave one of my good friends like my whole collection of them because I don't need that many. These are Hasbro Sweetie Pups. Aren't they the cutest? Look how cute they are. Oh, So they're these dog toys that are just covered in hair and they're really weird and like it takes a bit to kind of tame their hair sometimes. But this one is my favorite one and I would never get rid of this one because I love its, um, its blue color. I think that's really, really neat and it has like the pink eyes because that's so me. And hey, my nails match it. Oh, how cute. Yay, we're matching. Um, and this right here is the one that I've had since I was a kid. This was from my original collection, and I recently found this guy again at my mom's house in her basement, like stored away, so that was really exciting. Look how cute it is. The only weird thing about these is that whenever you give them a bath, their vinyl, like the dye leaches out and they'll get like all these discolored spots. That's the one thing I've noticed about these guys, so that sucks. I'm trying to fix my bow. <laughs> Uh, that's not, that's not working. Oh, can I fix it? Come on. Okay, um, I guess that works. Whatever. <laughs> it's on there. It keeps my bangs out of my eyes as I grow out. Okay, so this is, let me actually see if I can like zoom in a bit. Okay, I think that looks a little bit more normal now. And this lens can be kind of distorting. So this is my 1991 Care Bears Environmental Friends. This is Bedtime Bear. These are like the one Care Bears I like to collect and I really want the Share Bear one. That's the last one that I really, really want. <laughs> so this little guy is so cute. Look at his little face. Oh, he's so cute. Ah! <laughs> so along with that, I also have this one. This was the first one of these I found. I found this at the flea market one summer hair twinsies. Actually, my hair used to be like this exact tone. It's doing it again. Okay, I think we're good. Um, I love this little guy. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think these were the best Care Bears. So many people hate on these and I'm like, look in the mirror, honey. <laughs> This is the one vintage Care Bear that means the most to me because whenever I was a kid, I had this one. So this is Birthday Bear and basically in kindergarten, 
for our birthdays, we were allowed to take home the birthday bear. So as you could imagine, that poor bear was in horrific condition from having to be washed over and over and, you know, kids snuggling with it and drooling on it and who knows else what. So, um, I have been wanting to get another birthday bear because whenever I was a kid, I somehow ended up with one. Now, I don't know if my mom found me one or I feel like my kindergarten teacher might have given it to me, um, which is very interesting. I, I don't know how I ended up with it for sure, but I know I had this Care Bear for the longest time and um, I was really excited to get this from the flea market over the summer for real cheap and it's so cute. Then again, I mean, these vintage Care Bears, they're so cheap as it is, unless it's something special, so. It's not hard to start a Care Bear collection, so hey, if you want to start collecting vintage toys, maybe start with vintage Care Bears. I think that'd be a great collection to start because it's really cheap, it seems to be, unless it's something limited, but I don't know anything about Care Bears, so yeah. Let's see if I can balance this whole family. I don't want to drop the babies. <laughs> so this is my bunny surprise. This was one of my Grail toys for the longest time, and I finally got her and I got a whole bunch of babies here. Look at all the babies. Look at her. She is like a pastel dream. I love her so much. I got the hookup on her from some local people that know me from thrifting. And I got her for $5. Ah! I got the babies for $1, $1 each. And um, I think she came with three babies. So like $8 for this whole thing. Are you kidding? I'm gonna get her a collar eventually. It's gonna happen, but I love her to pieces. She is so cute. <sighs> so I'm not gonna be taking these down because they're fragile. <laughs> and I've already done videos about them, but I love my star castles. Oh my gosh. Still to this day, they are my favorite things. <laughs> they are magical. They make me so happy. This thing is so nostalgic for me. Like this is always going to be an iconic piece of my life. Because growing up, this is the one I had. I had this one and I had the purple by the sea castle and um, I love it so much. <laughs> it's just so iconic. It's something I'm always going to remember, you know, because it was like there in the very beginning of my life. So I love this thing. So up here we have my custom ponies that I made. So here we have Sky Dancer and she was kind of based off Sky Dancer's, the toy line. I was going to make some satin ballet slippers for her and I still need to do that. Um, and then I had these really pretty roses I was gonna put in her hair, but I never like figured out how I'm gonna do that. Here is the hair color combo I came up with for her. And I gave her a pearlized body with like, it's really hard to see, but she has like some pink uh, blushing all over. And then on her forehead there, there is glitter. And there is her eyes. I love her eyes. I'm pretty proud of those. She is so cute. I just got to curl that hair and then she'll be perfect. But I'm just so proud of her. Um, Oh yeah, her cutie mark's like different on each side because I was really experimenting like, uh, it's supposed to be a cloud with stars. The stars didn't work out so good, but the pony looks beautiful. So I'm pretty happy about that. I can always glue something over top of the stars. Like I can always put clay on there or something, which I might do eventually. But for now, I mean, she is so gorgeous and I'm so proud of her and I want to make more custom ponies. So up there is just a bunch of My Little Pony stuff that I don't want to get down right now because, yeah, things could fall. <laughs> I don't want to go up there. I'm short. I have to get on a ladder to like properly reach everything and I'm not doing that right now. All right, so now for the Sky Dancer shelf. So I always wanted to get some drone footage of me playing with these somehow, like showing them launching up into the air. I don't know how I would do that, but Eventually it might actually happen. So this is my favorite Sky Dancers launcher. I believe its name is Starburst. And I have been wanting this thing forever. Finally got one and now I have two of them. The other one's over there on my shelf. But um, these things are amazing and Okay, yeah, it's not taking off right now and I don't want to risk it. I don't want to go for that. <laughs> Did I break this? Yeah, I've never actually been able to get one to launch because I'm too scared. I have seen like people play with these and like they broke. So 
between it either breaking my teeth, my glasses, this camera, the shelves. I don't think this one even really works. Oh, this one might actually take off. I know, I'm gonna go like this. Okay, you guys ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> she attacked me! <laughs> I hope I caught that on camera. She assaulted me. <laughs> I really hope I caught that. Oh my God, let's try it again. Okay. Get ready. You have to like lift with the knees. Oh wait. All right, hold on a sec. Build it up, build up. Not working now. In this one keeps messing up. I can't get her to do it again. So you guys can just enjoy watching her spin. Oh my god! Oh, that would have messed up my face. If that had sprung off at me. Okay, I'm too scared. I can't. I can't. Okay, I'm back. I had to hit re-record. So, <laughs> those are my Sky Dancers. And that was a lot of fun, but it was pretty scary. You know what? One more round. I want to get smacked in the teeth for YouTube views. Let's do this. Whoa, this one's intense. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, at least that one shot away from me. Whew. Oh boy, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, all right, let's 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 play with my thermoses. So this is my Rainbow Curl Pony thermos, and I am obsessed with the art on it. I think it's so beautiful. Look at her, that's my favorite one in the collection. This is so pretty. And you wanna know how I got this? By the way, it has a little bit of sparkle in it. You wanna know how I got this? So at the flea market, let me, let me turn up the ISO again. Okay, we're gonna do it, okay. So at the flea market, there was a gentleman selling this and I think he wanted like 10 or 15 for the thermos and the lunchbox up, up there, hey. Um, and I didn't have enough, so we negotiated and he said, you know what, it matches your hair. So I'll give it to you for five bucks. I was like, yay! So it helps whenever like you have these hair colors. If you really wanna buy something and your hair matches it, they might be like, you know what? I like you, it belongs with you, five dollars. So <laughs> that's a good, good thing to know. If you buy a lot of pink stuff, dye your hair pink cause you never know what could happen. Now let's talk about toys that I bought to do videos on that I never did. So here we have Shampoodle, our hair matches. This is my Patronus Shampoodle, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, our hair really does match. Hey look, I have bangs again. <laughs> That's never happening again, by the way. I'm, I'm never going back. So this is the white and pink variation and poor Shampoodle is getting really dusty. Shampoodle was a bath toy made in 1991, I believe. Yes, by Hasbro. And basically you would put your like shampoo in there and you'd go like this and it would make this big like shampoo mountain on top of their hair. So I still need to do a video on Shampoodle and you know what, I think it's about time. So let's do that video here really soon. But I always wanted Shampoodle. It's one of those toys I absolutely dreamed of. And now like I don't look at her and I'm like, you wanted this thing for so long. You paid so much money for this. Why don't you, why don't you spend time with it? So I need to start hanging out with Shampoodle more and I'm gonna do that more, cause I love my little friend and uh, Shampoodle's amazing. I mean, look at the lavender nose. Look at it, it's so cool. There's another variation I need and I still have to like clean up poor Shampoodle. There's like some staining on her that I'm gonna try to lift. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so all the dollies are falling. So here we have a doll that I paid a fortune for because I bought this doll to do a video on. And you know what? I'm actually glad I waited cause now I have a really good camera and a nicer setup and I can do a really fun review. So this is Penny Secrets. All of her accessories are in her box. Um, this is a, the most unique variation I've ever seen of her. So Penny Secrets was my dream doll. She's so beautiful, but they normally have like these red lips and their makeup's more intense and their hair is more rainbowy. Well, I have this super like natural 
peachy girl and I didn't know she was really gonna look like this and I was actually really disappointed whenever I got her because I wanted that red-lipped really bold eye um, version of her but I have her here to do the review video on all of her accessories are in her box which is right here so she was my dream doll for the longest time She's amazing. I actually want to get the brunette version of her because her rainbow hair shows up a lot better. Um, but I love this box so much. It's definitely a gem in my collection. Look at it. So cool, right? Very, very cool. I don't know where to put this box at the moment. And uh, my doll shelf is uh, falling apart now. <laughs> so we're just set her here and um, okay. So this doll is special to me because this is one of the few like 90s toys I had as a kid. So this is Little Miss Candy Stripes. And see, she has this like insane hair. And my childhood Miss Candy Stripes, I still have her, she's destroyed. Like her hair is completely matted. I was really happy to find this one in like mint condition. Um, her hair is really, really good. You can still see all her stripes and everything. Her outfit still color changes. I can remember like playing with her. She was my bathtub doll, which is how she got absolutely wrecked. Like no one should have hair like this to play with on a doll. Like, oh my gosh, I completely destroyed it, but I was like three, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so she's really, really cool. I was really excited to find her thrifting because she's really nostalgic for me. This was my, this was my childhood baby doll, you know? And then here we have Little Miss Singing Mermaid. Are her batteries in? I think they're in PJ Sparkles down there. Um, but basically, you'd squeeze her and she goes, ah, and it like sounds really creepy and it scares some people. Um, it doesn't sound creepy to me, but I love creepy things. <laughs> so um, she was one of my dream dolls and I found her recently on like an outlets trip. Well, a couple months ago, I don't go thrifting anymore. I can't do it anymore, guys. Um, but the only problem with her is her vinyl has some discoloration because it's been affected by mold. That's what I found out. That's a very common issue with this doll specifically is that the vinyl will darken because it was a water toy. So I'm gonna be doing some treatments on that just to kind of get rid of that mold for one because I don't want it to be a problem on her vinyl forever. So I'm gonna eventually fix her up um, her curls were absolutely perfect before I messed with them, and now they're kind of fluffy. But she's still really, really cute. I love her eyes so much. Okay, so my doll shelf is completely destroyed. Anyways, so here we have PJ Sparkles. This is my daughter, okay? <laughs> so she is actually, like, pretty discolored as well. That happens to these vinyl dolls. Her hair was already cut, and it was cut super uneven, so... I sort of fixed it. It's still uneven on this side. I didn't even notice. Oh, no! So um, she's one of those dolls that flashes whenever you squeeze her. So seizure warning. Woohoo! That's what she does. That's her gimmick. <laughs> and then this dress can like turn to PJs or I don't know. I don't even know how this worked. I don't even know. Um, she has two different shoes because I was lucky to find one of the shoes at a flea market in a bag. And uh, so they're two different colors. <laughs> And um, yeah, so that's PJ. My dream doll from the series is Starbright Sparkles. I want a complete one that still works with the projector that shines the scene on the ceiling. That's one of my dream dolls to review. I'm dying to get it for the channel. I really, really want her Starbright Sparkles. And then I love, I think her name's Baby Sparkles. That one's gorgeous. So I don't know where I'd even put them <laughs> at this point, but if I would to get any more dolls, I would have to get those two because holy crap. And here's where the obsession started. My Little Pony. I have so many, but my collection's pretty weak sauce compared to everyone else I know. They have like everything, like all the rare awesome ponies and some that I should really have by now as a collector considering I've been collecting now for 20 years. Holy crap, how is that? Actually, technically 22 years of collecting My Little Pony. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> how is this happening? How am I getting this old? So it's pretty cool that people are still collecting these and it's still a thing and it's still thriving and it's actually bigger than ever. I think that's really amazing. So up here, 
We have some really special ponies to me. This was one of my favorite ones growing up. This is Glow, and then this one was pretty much a gift from a friend. It's kind of a complicated tale. Um, she's like in perfect condition. Her name's Moon Jumper, and she's like, I think like the most valuable one in the set. So basically what happened was I was really sad <laughs> because I was missing a friend of mine who has passed on, and I just had this feeling that I should go to Goodwill to cheer myself up. Cause I used to shop my feelings back then. I don't do that anymore so much, but um, back then I definitely did. So I go into Google Outlets and someone pulled out a bin with a Christmas tree and hanging off the Christmas tree was her in mint condition. Nobody fought me for her and I couldn't believe it. So I did a video crying about it. It's still up on the channel. I mean, how could you not be emotional over something like that? So yeah, I still gotta finish my Twinkle Eye collection. <laughs> I will finish you one day, one day. Just having this guy in my life is a huge deal for me. This is Ice Crystal. He's so tiny compared to all the girls. He's my mountain boy. He was like my pony crush my whole life. And I can't believe he's finally mine. <laughs> I have been wanting him for so many years. He's one of those things that I was like, I'll never own that and now I do. So. I would like to get like a big plushie of him or something, like a custom plush or, or something. He's my favorite pony. I love him so much. But yeah, friends, I think that's about enough of uh, hanging out in the toy room for today. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to hang out with the toys more with you guys and just kind of play with them because, I mean, they're, they're here to be enjoyed. They're here to be played with. Like, I want you guys to be a part of that. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's my collection, and there's more stuff over there and over there, but I'm not going over there right now because that side of the room is a mess. So anyways, guys, I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. It was really fun reconnecting with the toys and just forgetting about my worries for a while and just hanging out with toys, you know, because why not, right? <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, I am going to hug a brush of love for the rest of the night, <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!